these are the new chicks that we just picked up today. Um, not even quite yet a week old. These are either going to be Aracana, Americana, or a mongrel of those breeds, which is referred to as an Easter egg or chicken. Uh, to be a true Aracana, according to the American Poultry Association, the chick must have uh, no tail, be a rumpless chicken, and have ear tufts, which are these little mutton chops on the side of the face, um, which these guys all do have. Uh, if you look at his cheeks here, he's got these big things, uh, feathers, those big tufts. Um, that's a characteristic of those breeds. Um, to be an American a chicken, however, it needs the same tufts as well as a lot of times they'll have a beard, but they are allowed to have tails if they're Americana. But 99% of these breeds uh, sold as Americanas or Aracanas by commercial hatcheries are actually mongrels, which are referred to as Easter egg or chickens because they don't meet the specific requirements of either breed. Um, so I'm not sure if any of these are either true Aracanas or Americanas or, again, just an Easter egg or chicken. But we uh, wanted to get some chickens that laid the blue-green eggs. Uh, sometimes they do lay pink eggs, uh, more commonly blue or green. Mm. So in a few weeks when these guys are a little bit bigger, we will mix them in with our Orpingtons and our light Brahmas. Uh, generally, you're not supposed to mix your chicken breeds uh, because of disease issues. But all of these chickens are from the same hatchery. They're all NPIP certified, so they're all healthy. I just want to make sure these guys are a little bit bigger before we mix them in with the bigger birds. But those are our new chicks. I uh, just picked them up a little while ago.